Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Firestorm podcast album review. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done two different Ninja Sex Party albums, but today we are delving into Starbomb. Starbomb, boom. Oh, man, this is exciting. Rise of Lyrics. It is exciting. I Oh, man. Like, obviously, this is so exciting. For both I, of I us. genuinely thought there'd never be another one of these. I no. never thought they'd, they'd do another one. That was, that, that was genuinely a fear for the longest time, that mm-hmm. uh, 3 was it. The trilogy was going to be all. Yeah. And uh, then they came out of nowhere. When they, Well, they didn't come out of nowhere. They, they kind of uh, they did tease it. They said, yep, a fourth is happening. And everyone's yeah. just been sitting on their own. Well, they basically the made the choice, like, on the spot, I'm pretty sure. Like, they were just kind of like, one day, like, should we do another Star Bomb album? And they were like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. And they did it. Why not? Um, yeah, Star Bomb Boom yeah, Rise so, of and Lyrics. God bless. Uh, very odd name for an album, but I, it apparently is a reference, as is everything. So, um, I will let yes. you handle So, this all is. Of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Star Bomb Boom is, of course, a and Rise of Lyrics. Both of those are reference to Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, which is the notoriously fucking terrible Sonic game that was developed in America rather than Japan. Came out almost ten years ago to the day. I think it was. It's pretty close to ten years to the day that it came out and was like the Game Grumps playthrough that put their channel on the map. It was like, right. you know, everyone refers to at the the game, like the Sonic Boom playthrough as like the golden era of Game Grumps. It's like they'll never be better than they were 10 years ago. Um, but uh, that, that like, you know, that's up for debate. I still watch every day. So I'm notoriously not notoriously, but I am a noted big fan of Game Grumps. I do. I wa- like one of the only things I watch literally every day, um, no matter what it is. And I don't watch it, watch it, of course. Like, sometimes I'll just put it on in the background and just let them do whatever. But, um... Oh, shit, I just realized I'm my microphone's too low. There we go. Um, but, yeah, so... I genuinely thought they'd never do another Star Bomb album. Because it was originally meant to be a trilogy, and then there was, like, a five-year gap between... Uh, oh, God. Player Select and, um, the, the Triforce. Mm-hmm. So I kind of figured they'd never be, they'd never do another one, but I'm okay with another five year gap between this one. And I don't know what exactly made them just decide to do another one, but it was like, it was, it was the Triforce. Like when, cause I never really liked Starbomb that much before the Triforce came out. And then the Triforce was just a banger album. Like the Triforce fucking rules. Like there are some good songs on the other albums too, but like, the Triforce was just banger after banger. And it was and it was because Twerp, of course. Like Twerp had the they had the instruments now, like uh, NSP did. So it was like a huge difference maker. And you could really tell how much like Aaron had developed as a musician and uh even Dan and Brian had like you know grown with Ninja Sex Party so much since that since the last the previous Star Bomb album. Uh which was, you know, ten years ago now almost. Um, the second one was. Yeah, yeah, that's, I remember. So, yeah. Fuck my. Life. Yeah. Oh my so, God. uh, I was very happy they announced another Star Wars album because, again, and I'm sure maybe not everybody knows this because it's kind of like hidden in my discography now, but Star Bomb was what single handedly inspired me to do Mega Evolution Was a Mistake. I wrote that in 2019 and it didn't come out until two years later. Um, and it's not really subtle because I was still very. Uh, and I was still pretty new to writing like, you know, decent music at the time. Like I was, I'd only just graduated from writing shitty music into writing decent music. Um, it's, it's pretty much directly inspired by, uh, what's this hardest fucking game in the world. It's, it's, that was the song that like, is sort of that I was like, I sort of based, uh, mega evolution was a mistake off of it's, it's, pr- it's not very subtle. Uh, but it was like, that's the i was like i'm gonna try writing a song like this uh and like stylistically i based it off of that one and uh but there are so many good songs in the triforce and i'm sure even with like another five-year gap between uh the triforce and now this one with how much nsp has changed in the five years like you can even tell like uh you know when we reviewed uh oh what was the album? Prophecy. What's his NSP and album called? 
there was a oh, fuck. I don't remember the other one. What was the four? Was the new uh, one? Fuck. Uh, these nuts. Um, these nuts. Uh. Oh, these nuts. Um, yeah, yeah. So we talked a lot in that and these nuts about how much MSP is not what it used to be in a good way, yeah. right? Like it's it's not it's grown a lot. The project and like the the concept of what they do has changed a lot since its inception. And I'm assuming now I've only heard one of these songs because I it actually they performed the Pokemon Smasher Pass song in like the 10 year anniversary digital concert that NSP did. Right. So I happened to hear it. Um, I I, I but, did also hear it when they uploaded the uh, the video for it. I was like, oh, I just kind of want to listen to this one because I yeah uh, remember I, I watched their Pokemon Smasher Pass and thought that was hilarious. So I uh, yeah thought I'd give that a crack. Uh, I. The amount of references just alone, like to Game Grumps, <clears throat> is actually like as you mentioned that there's going to be a, there might be some actual just Game Grumps lore and like Pokemon Smash or Pass. That's just Game Grumps, like that, that's just straight. Yeah, up there. well, and that's not well. So that's different, right? Because Pokemon Smasher, the song, right? We'll talk about it later. But like, you don't have to have seen their Pokemon Smash or Pass video no, no, to no, get absolutely not. the song. Yeah. Um, so, and I'm assuming that'll be the rest, like, uh, that'll be the same for the rest. Like, you won't have to know to understand the song, but, um, there will be, like, you might get some extra enjoyment out of it if you do know. So, but yeah, that's, I think with that as, like, sort of setting the tone for the rest of the album, I think we're in for an interesting one. Because one thing, you know, there was a lot of direction change in this Triforce as well. Like, they, they actually did more, like actual jokes in the Triforce like they actually like set up an idea and then executed on an actual joke rather than like it felt like in the first two star bombs there were not quite as much of that and they were just like doing the whole like XD random ha let's just make crude jokes about whatever yes. about video games um so I think and that's what NSP has been doing as well like they've been setting up these like unique sort of premises for their in their songs and then executing actual jokes on them so I'm assuming that's what's going to happen here. So, but I want to do something uh, weird. I got to find them because I want to watch the music videos for the ones that have music videos. Okay. So I so, think it's only Pokemon Smash will pass and kiss the Elden Ring that currently. It, it's there's also for Nintendo's on Nintendo online's greatest announcement. Okay. There's also one for that. Right. Um, so, oh, but if we've seen, we've, we've done Pokemon Smash or pass, so we can just listen to that. Um, but the other two, I want to actually watch the music videos yeah, because okay. I think that's going to add to the experience. And I think Shuchiru has done all of them. No, no, no. Just two of them. I can't remember if he did. Anyway, Shuchiru is great. Shuchiru did, uh, the, what the video for welcome to your parents house. Welcome to my parents house. Yeah. He's a fantastic animator. He is. So I would like to watch whatever. I know he did the kiss the Elden ring one. I don't know if he did the other one. But yeah, sounds good. Um, we'll just we'll there the with the inner interludes of these. We usually like to like play the interlude and then immediately go to the next song. I think uh, "Kiss the Elden Ring" is right after an interlude, so we'll just yeah. So we'll I, do... I think so. From the looks of it, uh, we'll do the intro straight into <clears throat> Pokemon Smash or Pass. Brian pitches ideas straight into "Kiss the Elden Ring." And then that feels incredible straight into Wheel of Misfortune, I reckon. Yeah, but we, I want to watch the music video for Kiss the Elden Ring. Okay, so, so we'll just have to pause briefly yeah. after Brian does his thing. Sure. And, then, and uh, for all those um, that don't know, if you, this is the first time tuning into an album review, uh, mm -hmm. obviously we can't play the music out loud itself uh, during the review. So go on to your favorite uh, streaming service, mm. your music provider or YouTube or whatever, and listen along with us. Yeah. We'll be uh, pausing, doing a countdown for each song. Listen with us and yes. we'll give our review, like our in-person, yeah. in-the-second thoughts during the song, and then we'll normally break it down a little bit afterwards as well. So yes Hi. hopefully it's good because and don't forget because if hopefully it's if it's good don't forget to buy the album because they i i saw one of the in one of the most recent game grumps episodes they said if you if you want us to do another one buy the album buy a cd or a vinyl or whatever so i was waiting to see i didn't know if it was going to be good or not well as good as i want it to be anyway but like i was waiting on it and if it's good i'm gonna buy it but if but if it is good buy the album all right all right do that. 
fellow yeah, yeah, yeah. Do okay that. we're gonna play yeah we're, we're just gonna go we don't need to watch the pokemon smash pass video i've already seen it so uh we're gonna oh, damn. play track one train to track two uh all right oh damn it's a new star bomb yeah track one is called oh damn it's a new star bomb oh uh, and worth mentioning also uh, as uh this might be the this ho is looking like the best star bomb album because there is not a single track without a f uh, swear word in it so Fuck yeah, they're all explicit. Um, <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we're playing track one straight into track two, starting in three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah, this is a banger. Groovy. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good, Brian. Yeah, owned. <laughs> yeah. Star bomb. Star bomb. And now Pokemon Yay! Smash or Pass. Such a fucking bop, this song. That was a banger. That was good. I just love how chill this song sounds. Yeah, Brian had a vision. He did. I like I when I saw them perform this on the uh, on the concert, Brian did like a <laughs> he dragged out the piano intro for like a minute long. Yeah, yeah. He loves this track. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. That's a good bit. He <laughs> 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 doesn't like deals. What about me? See, that's a good bit. That is a good bit. That's what I'm talking about when they do like jokes, where they actually like set up jokes and then, you know, knock them down. 100%. It's got like a good resolution. It's like sets up the jokes like, ah, here's a guy. He fucking, yeah, he fucking wants to fuck every, every Pokemon and also everything. But then what he does with his, with his that actual person, it's like, uh, that flow at bit. the end is, See, is a joke. That flow at the end is so smooth. Even though it's just a bunch of random nonsense, it is very smooth and I like it a lot. That is a <laughs> it's very fun, uh, very groovy. Yeah, uh, good song. There's definitely like, uh, you mentioned before, like unlike a lot of Ninja Sex Party, <clears throat> like, there's a lot of those Star Bomb songs are really, really like iconic, but I don't really go back and listen to a lot of them like, often. 
but uh the there's an odd few that i would and i think pokemon smash and po- smash or pass is one of those for me because it's just so groovy yeah. mm. so nice yeah uh, that's one of the things that i i think is a is an absolute game changer for them because uh, it's always been uh it always has felt like anyway I'm sure, I don't know how much, like, Brian does in his spare time, but it's pretty noted that Dan doesn't really play video games in his spare time, where Aaron definitely does. And so he's the one who's, like, sort of bringing the video game knowledge to the table in the band. And it's pretty easy to tell, because, like, it feels like Aaron came up with a lot of these ideas. Um, And this was, that, like, everything between, like, the, the joke of how he wants to smash everything... The joke of that, like, uh, or even like the flow at the end, even the concept, all of of the song itself, like the concept of the song itself, it all feels like he wrote it. Like it feels like when he's just cramming together all of these like O syllables, like trying to find as many O syllables to fit into that flow as possible. That feels like something Aaron would have done, and it it just works really well. Like he has, because another thing he mentioned which I think is easy to, to hear is in like the first two Star Wars albums, he didn't really contribute much musically. He just kind of like came up with ideas and let Brian and Dan write most of the actual music and lyrics. But with the Triforce, he began contributing significantly. And I think he has worked on his musicianship for a long time, uh, like, you know, in his own time or whatever. And you can really tell because he, it feels like he brings much more to the table now creatively at least from in my perspective, because it Brian, it definitely feels like Brian wrote that like groove instrumental, but that song didn't feel like Dan wrote it at all. So like had almost no part in that. Like, of course, he was the one doing like the, the main rapping part, but it felt like that was Aaron's creation. Um, I don't know. That's just my perspective. That might not be true, but like. It, that's what it feels like. It feels like he has grown to the, to the point where he can contribute so much more significantly to their musical process, which is a nothing but a good thing. So that's very, very good. Just It's just a great, like, I hope the rest of them have that sort of, like, refined nature to them because it, it's, it's very nice. Like, they, they've, I think they've grown to, all three of them have grown to work really well together. Uh, all right. Um, the next is Nintendo Online's greatest announcement, which is not even about a video game. They're just making fun of Nint- Nintendo Direct. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I've also got the music video so, pulled up, and the ad has been skipped. Yep. I'm very keen to watch it. All right. Uh, I've got it now too. So, uh, <laughs> so on. I've just noticed as well the. Uh, I don't. I don't know. The video length is different to the song length, so I think that's probably because they advertise at the very end. Uh, yes. So maybe a little bit at a time if you're listening along on the streaming service, but uh, we'll see. It should be fine, though. I'm not going to watch the ad. We'll just pause after it's over. Yep, it should be fine. Um, okay. All right, we're playing track number three in three, two, one, and go. Who's this animated by? Shiglu. <laughs> Dave! Dave! Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Diarrhea Warrior. That's my favorite. Basketball 89. <laughs> Brian with the Zelda shirt goes so hard. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, 
it's alimony. No. <laughs> yeah. He fast forwarded. Yeah. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. This is fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, she's tax shelter. Russian surrender. Squark! <laughs> Play Squark. <laughs> yeah, go Squark! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do not distribute. <laughs> I got it straight from my dad! <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm so glad we watched the video. Me, Christ. me too, that video was fucking insane. And like, the two times where his actual <laughs> mouth appeared, I don't know why it broke me both times. <laughs> And the the rotoscope <clears throat> dancing, holy fucking shit! What the fuck? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. The actual song itself, like the fact that they made such a groovy, like like such a cool sounding song where it was mostly just whispering the whole time. That's impressive. That is very <laughs> impressive. And um, yeah, obviously ripping into the whole like Nintendo. Selects, Nintendo Online like Nintendo membership. Online selects, yep. or the, the online greatest announcement. Yeah, it's just a bunch of fucking old games no one gives a shit about. And they're just like, Where, yeah. where's the good shit? And they don't say any of the good shit. <laughs> so it's, yeah. It's, oh. There's no Pokemon. There's barely any Zelda. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, that's fucking... <clears throat> <laughs> fucking hell. Like, uh, what? <laughs> that's just fucking insane. Watch the video if you, if you haven't, guys. That was... Yeah, like, that animation watch the was video. incredible. Fuck me. Yeah, very, very fun. Like, what? that's another thing I really like is they, if for NSP and Starbomb, they usually just let the animators do whatever they want. Uh, maybe contribute a couple ideas here and there, but like, th that was just so goofy. They just let them, they just let it rip on that, uh, on the music video and it really paid off. Um, that was, that was awesome. Yeah, great. I like the um yeah, that feels again, that feels like an Aaron idea. He he is definitely the one who was like, "Man, this fucking Nintendo Online bullshit sucks ass." And uh wanted to write a song, write a, wanted to write a song about it, especially because uh, one of their running jokes it's not even a running joke. It's just like, well, it's not even necessarily their running joke, but it's more like, you know, uh my dad works at Nintendo and yeah. he said XX thing. Um so that's, that's one of that my favorite. Starting as like the genesis. That's one of my favorite from, of uh, that. The Space Bears songs of uh, Daddy wants to work in Nintendo. Oh, that's so fucking mm. yeah, that's awesome. I accidentally oh I I meant to tell you this but I didn't. I ac I once like very recently, uh, I drove past an ongoing wedding, uh, blasting uh, Daddy wants to till the soil, <laughs> uh, with the doors down, with the windows down. Fuck yeah. Uh, that. That happened to me. I didn't realize there was a wedding going on, but I was. It just happened. Uh, Daddy and I was talking about stealing the soil. Ugh. Yeah, right past the wedding. That's awesome. Well, yeah, that's fucking like and the soil is your mom. Soil yeah. Is your mom. Um. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Good shit. Wait, like so, that, that, that yeah. would make the wedding even better. Like. Yeah. True. As if they're not jamming out to that. <clears throat> oh my god. All right. So. Yeah, that was, that was great. That was awesome. So, okay, this one's going to be a bit different. We're not skipping straight from Brian Pitch's ideas straight to Kiss the Under Ring. There will be a break so we can pull up the video. Yeah. But uh, let's tune into Brian yes. Pitch's ideas and see what he has in, in mind. Shit. I'm, I'm happy we actually uh, get okay. to hear more of Brian because he, he's usually 
fairly quiet so i'm, I'm actually glad we get to yeah. get more of him in this, this is also a notorious thing uh for this is like something they they talk about on game grumps sometimes but brian often has these insane ideas both for nsp and Starbomb. like he just comes up with like these song titles uh and he just like will send them to dan or send them to dan and aaron and be like guys what if we wrote a song called like i don't know uh, Link takes a poopy on a doopy or some shit like that. Um, and that will be like, it will be just out of nowhere and it will have no relevance to anything. And Brian will just have like come up with an idea. Uh, oh, one of <laughs> that, that's right. Uh, one of this was like years and years ago, but Dan said that Brian one time texted him and w with just, what if we wrote an NSP song called your ass smells like tits and in parentheses and your tits smell like ass <laughs> that is that's a notorious brian idea so i'm assuming this will be in that same nature okay i do uh, remember one of the game grumps literally they <clears throat> talked about how um a lot of these songs just start off as a name as a title as a song title yes and then it just happens from there which is yes. uh, incredible that they can do that and it, it was a lot more emphasis on knowing what these songs are called because you, you can kind of work backwards and see what they did. Yes, you can. <clears throat> okay, uh, plan track number four in three, two, one, go. Christ. Yep. Let's go! <laughs> oh, go for it. Oh, what? I'm going to fucking kill him. Mm. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. Yeah! Oh! Oh, whoops. That's that's think... the perfect fucking crossover into Kiss the Elden Ring. That's actually perfect. That was a good oh bit. Oh my god, that was fucking right. hilarious. <laughs> that caught me so <clears throat> off guard as well, and I yes. love it. Yes, okay. That, that was good. All right, I need to pull Holy up the video. Shit. Oh, fuck. All right. All right. We're going straight to Kiss the Elden Ring. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, all right. Track number five in three, two, one, go. Dude, it's, it's an ultra wide dimensions. <clears throat> Holy shit. Everyone wants to fuck that blue bitch from Elden Ring. Not a surprise. <laughs> Big Shucheru, let's go.
I knew the jar was a meme. I didn't realize it was a living thing that could be <clears throat> fucked. Simp in a face. Must have left my heart ajar. Christ. Amen. <laughs> yes, sir. Will he be successful? <laughs> yeah! Oh my! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah! Wow. I knew the lore of Elden Ring was a bit fucking mental. And I'm glad they referenced, like, literally... I don't think that should be accepted as reflective of the lore of Elden no, Ring. No, it but... actually kind of is. <laughs> like, that is unironically, because I remember the pot being a big fucking meme in Elden Ring. And, like, everyone... like that, that, that was literally it. Like, the three female characters they talked about, how everyone wanted to fuck them, like... That was a constant meme, but then everyone started going off about the pot. So I, I'm I'm glad they used that. <laughs> like that was the, the joke. <laughs> but it's like, nah, I'm gonna fuck this pot. Like, uh that that was awesome. That was so good. <laughs> that gave me yeah, that gave me uh what's the song? Oh god. Uh that's the Tetris one. That gave me vibes of the Tetris one. A man going insane over weird shit. Um, <clears throat> killing in the name of, I think is what it is. Filling in the name of, sorry. Filling in the name of, that's what that's what that song reminded me of. Uh, in terms of, like, structure and lyrics. Um, yeah, so... That was, uh... <laughs> that was fun. Um, this, again, it's... They've all been kind of, like... I guess, uh, chill out, groovy sort of song so far, and I expect that will be the, the theme going forward as well. Um, it just seems like they... Because it almost... Like, Dan hasn't uh, actually performed a whole lot since the first track. Um, it just kind of feels like they're all kind of bringing... Like, kind of doing their own thing and smashing their ideas together, which works pretty well, actually. Um... So, because it really feels like Brian has just, like, composed these sort of groovy jams, and then Aaron is just putting his wacky fucking 
lyrics on top of it. Uh, but that, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, and they've all been really good so far. The three have been really good so far. So, uh, and then of course we have the the four constants coming up at least relatively soon. Um, or is there maybe there, no? Just three actually. Um, the Zelda, Sonic, and Mario. Three, the three star bomb constants are coming up soon. Um, <clears throat> there's always a there's always Mario, Sonic, and Zelda in, in these albums. <clears throat> All right, uh, track number six. Track number six is called Mario a la Carte. Um, we're we've got the uh, Mario and Zelda songs coming up. See what they do this time. All right, track number six. Play it in three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Concussion. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah he's rich <laughs> oh <laughs> too bad <laughs> oh <clears throat> oh, ouch. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh man mistake oh holy fucking shit fucking old you got fucking roasted oh mm. my god Wow. Fuck. <laughs> That's, uh... Wow. <laughs> that was good. I like the, the, the theme of that, the tone of that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that nah. was good. Just a regular NASCAR guy. Yeah. Out on the Mario court. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> I, I, I get it. Thank you. Nah, that was funny. <clears throat> uh, yeah. They, they uh... It feels like they. It, that's another thing. They like I. Uh, <clears throat> they. Uh, it feels like they often set up jokes that they know will be funny, rather than that they know their audience will think is funny, rather than just necessarily what they think is funny, which is a good thing. So that's uh, that. Um, well, yeah. So it just, I, that's what NSP has been doing as well, of course. But like. Just stuff that they, that will be well received by the audience. So that's good. Um, that was uh, it, it doesn't that didn't quite feel like a Star Bomb song. Just bring a regular man or nor at least a regular Star Bomb song where you just bring a regular man into video games. 
Um, but that, that was, it, it, it does like put it put into perspective how crazy Mario Kart is um, when you don't question it, even if you just never question it. Uh, there's all kinds of acts of horrible violence and people getting falling off into the endless void of space constantly and uh, exactly all and that he, shit. Even so, having like even, even having the the common just goal of driving around a track with your mortal enemy Bowser. Like, uh, that's fucking silly. Yeah. Like, and the concept of Mario Kart, very silly if you actually yeah. think more than two seconds about it. But the point is, True the point that. is not to think. Yeah, the point is to drive and win, obviously. Um, all right. Uh, and I like, oh, I like the, um, the sort of uh, almost like... V- laid back sort of uh guitar instrumental in that one that was that was fun too uh very very well very very much fit the vibe i wish they picked out an actual nascar driver like like giving him a name instead of him just being a guy oh well um all right next is the the zelda one the biggest dick in high oh the zelda songs Uh, are always fucking like out of this world amazing i love these ones so i'm keen for it all right let's do it track number seven in three two one go Twenty four seven star bomb beats to chill and relax and study to ah breath in the wild Whoa. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, wow. oh wow. man. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I want to fuck her. (laughs) 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, That's not where I expected them to go with the Breath of the Wild one. I'm okay with it, though. Yeah. Not the direction I expected, <clears throat> but I was happy with it either way. That was very good. 
don't have much to say <coughs> on that one. Oh, is that? I was, I was waiting for you to no, say no, more. I don't have much to say um, on that one. That was just pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was well, like a. Uh, it does, yeah. It feels it feels like it is getting less and less about the like these songs. They're almost less and less about the games themselves, which is totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. But I was kind of hoping for at least like if they were gonna do Breath of the Wild one to sort of set up an actual uh, like something that would have been you know a reference to the actual game as a just opposed to Blink being you know you know not liked by hit everyone around him. Uh, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, with what we got. Um, there's also nothing about his dick being big. But again, that's okay. Um, nah, that could have been a double entendre <laughs> if they didn't go for it, so. Oh well. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, I, guess that, I guess that would be it, actually, yeah. The, it is the, the, the guy who's a big asshole and killing people's families. Um... Uh, yeah, the, no, that was fun. That was actually, I think, uh, that was one of Brian's, uh, I think Brian just went into, like, a 24-7 beats to chill in the study to and made a beat out of it. Um, that was, that was, that, that's felt like something out of a, uh, just randomly out of a 24-7 beats to chill and study to mix. That was fun, though. Good, good instrumental. I like that one. Oh. All right. Uh, oh, and gr of course, Aaron's been doing great. Like his performances on all of these songs have been very, very good. Um, you can see his versatility as well. Like he's been doing like none of the songs he's done. He's well, he's been leading pretty much all of them since the first one, and like Dan hasn't done a whole lot. He's been leading most of them, and none of the songs he's led have been like his performance has been a little different with each one like he's not quite the same performer like or he's not the same like uh doing the same sort of style or same sort of voice in every song which is a great thing he's a very versatile voice actor as well so you can you can just hear it in come come through in this as well so like i said aaron's developed so much as a as a performer i think a musical performer specifically <clears throat> okay. Um, next up is track number eight. Crobus is hot. Crobus is a Stardew Valley character. Um, right. I was gonna ask. So, so thank you very much for clarifying that for me. Uh, Crobus. Yeah. Crobus is a black. Is just a little black blob in Stardew Valley. Um, he's just a little black blob with eyes. Here, I'll send you a picture. Um, I've never played Stardew Valley. I, I but, have been in the room as uh, my friends played it, and it looks enjoyable. There you go. That's that's, that's Krobus. Krobus. What? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not what I expected. So th that's Krobus. I do think there is an existing meme about this wanting to fuck this guy as well. Um, as far as I I have done, I've I've, I've very done. I've done like one Google pay the first page of Google worth of research when I just googled the word Krobus, and, and that's it. Um, so, I do believe that there exists a meme of him as well. So, this is the longest track on the album, so let's play it in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Christ. I do love how versatile Aaron is being. It's so good. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> hey. Yo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, how? <laughs> You'd hope so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh. we're so progressive. I, I love being progressive around that was here. Such a fucking trip, because <laughs> like with my my very limited knowledge of Stardew Valley, that like the whole thing about inheriting the farm and living there, like with just all the neighbors and everything, but they just fucking like I, I understood that much, but it just fucking went off the fucking rail. Really I do, crazy. I did miss a good Star Bomb song about killing everybody. That that was uh, I we earned that. We, I've missed that about Star Bomb. I, I, I have missed it. I'm glad, I'm glad we got another one. We just kill everybody. You know what? Uh, yeah. Gotta... That was a uh, that was that was delightful. <laughs> just just <laughs> obliterating Crobus. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, that was a banger. Gotta celebrate the wins uh, when you can. That was fucking good. <clears throat> yeah, there was that part in the middle uh, that definitely felt like something you would have to have played Stardew Valley pretty. Uh, you know, extensively to really understand where he was talking about the chickens being dead and like whatever else is going on, like the, the blood, what was it? The sauce, the sauce queen or whatever. Um, stuff like that. You would have to have played the game to, to get. That's okay. It probably is really funny if you get it, but I've never played Stardew Valley. So, <clears throat> but yeah, that was a great song. Really like, you know, the fucking, uh, motif with the, the, the Krobus shit. Ah, is just still very well constructed like all of them have been and like i said aaron continues to just deliver great performances like none you, they're all different from each other very very great it almost feels like aaron brought this like just start was like coming up with ideas you know it's it's been so long and this was on like such i mean it was only announced like a handful of months ago this album and it just almost feels like Aaron's been like stocking up on ideas and we just one day was like, look, I, I here's what here's what we could do. I have ideas for a whole Star Bomb album. And they were just like, yeah, all right. You know what? <laughs> um, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Because they are like pretty recent. Most of them are like pretty timely, like Elden Ring and Smasher, Pokemon Smasher Pass. They're pretty like uh, references to like recent trends and stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that, yeah, that was great. They've all all the songs have been really good so far. <clears throat> all right, next song is called Joy-Con Drift. I am excited about this because I, as is documented on the show, I personally experienced Joy-Con Drift on my Switch. So, 
I am very excited about this because I'm 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 curious what this song what they're gonna go where they're gonna go with it. <clears throat> so let's uh let's play track number nine in three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> yes, this is this is it. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. That's the wrong one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'll bring my dad to be alive. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, that's too bad. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was great. Oh, they literally had two jokes. Gotta squeeze that in. They had two jokes of the Joy-Con drift and <sighs> I've been fucking your <clears throat> mom. <laughs> and I'm your new dad. <laughs> First my Joy-Con drifts, now my family. I don't know why that broke me. That's so Holy fuck. Well, because it's funny. That would be why, because it's funny. No, know, but... Uh, that... That was, it was really well set up and, like, you know... Yeah, that that was obviously like they they were like sitting on that. They were clearly like came up with that idea, and they were like, "Oh man, first my Joy-Con drifts, now my family." Uh, that that that's probably the whole reason they went in that direction just to make that joke. I'm so happy they did. I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Because because uh, otherwise, like, why would like you could just do like a a minute and a half Joy-Con drift song about Aaron just being like. My Joy Con drift! Like, you know, just that a minute and a half of that. I reckon they literally uh, got a minute and a half in and they were like, wait, no, hold on. And yeah, and they were like, yeah. We need some more. Okay, they, hold on. What if I fucked your mom? <laughs> yeah, gotta squeeze that in. Um I mean that that was on the uh that was on the new NSP album and now it's gonna now gotta find its way onto the Star Wars album, obviously. Um yeah, that was that was really that was really fun. That actually, uh, fucking in terms of like what 
the song was, like the style it was, that reminded me of filling in the name of as well. Not in terms of like the lyrics, but just like the uh, the actual style of the song. Great stuff. That was, I think filling in the name of is actually my favorite Star Bomb song so far. So uh, any anything like that is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, that was really really fun. Well, just just that's the kind of craziness that like Star Bomb has always had. So it's nice to see it still sticking around. Uh, yeah. All right. So next up is next up is track number ten, Sonic's Last Ring. Wait. Gotta. We are we are we're getting hype now. Um. All right. Playing. <coughs> it, it it well it was yesterday was Sonic. Sonic X Shadow release day, and I still haven't gotten the game because I'm trying to get a discount. Anyway, fair enough. That's just me complaining because everyone says it's really good. Anyway, playing track number ten in three, two, one, go. Hmm. I'm definitely watching a children's show. A. Oh, here we go. Yay! True. Yep. I wonder if they'll find any, I don't know. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Hey. Ooh. I'm a fucking pre. <laughs> fucking pre. Shadow the rabbi. rabbi. Oh. Oh. oh shit. Oh no. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> oh, who's on the organ? Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh man, that was so good. Wow. All kinds of Sonic references, Game Grub Sonic references of that. That was great. Oh, I love that. I was that. actually paying attention. That was such a fun that was such a fun idea. That was. That was fucking hilarious. That was good. I, I was literally paying attention, like, okay, I do actually know some of these names. And then he said like something the television. I'm like, hold on, that's not real. And then something yeah. the cum stand, yeah, I'm like, it, it, yeah, ah. it, it, it hit me it hit me a few times before a little bit before that. Yeah, a few names before that. I was like, he said a fake name and I was like, oh, all right, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, that didn't catch me. So, uh that was good. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that well. was great. I really, I really wish they dug a little farther. They're, they're, they're like Sonic Riders and like Sonic Fight, Sonic the Fighters characters. I wish they dug a little deeper. I'm sure they could have come up with one. I don't know. Um, they would have like they, they could have dug into like Sonic, uh, Sonic Underground and shit. Um, like that old TV show. Uh, 
yeah that was that was fun like i like i like the i was wondering what sonic's last ring would be but him getting married that that makes sense um and how the and wedding then, ring mixed in with all the other rings that was oh yeah good. that was good top not top notch yeah that that was a joke waiting to happen right there yeah that's um but then like <laughs> Like the, the very like there's a couple I want to point out a couple of Game Grumps references one of their uh, like one of their all time funniest Sonic bits was when they were playing Sonic Forces and they're fighting against Infinite and there's it's it was like a t it's one of the there's a few fights against Infinite in Sonic Forces but one of them is like a side scroller and like it's a totally side scrolling uh, fight and they're it's it's just it's just Sonic and Infinite and <laughs> Like every so often throughout the fight, Infinite will say like random things like this is my ultimate power and like random shit like that. And then when he gets damaged, he has like if like voice readings to go along with it, like, ah, oh, so like he would always be like my ultimate power. Ah, oh, ah. and uh, everyone. You know, so that was and they just exacerbated that to an extreme uh the, the the game grumps did that's one of their all-time funniest sonic bits it's so fucking hilarious um and uh this is just a random thing i don't know why this started but sonic's being like <laughs> all right <laughs> that's that's another game grumps thing that just started for no reason like i think i i think it just like aaron just said that randomly just that exactly like <laughs> all right like i just i just killed somebody's family <laughs> all right uh and Dan just found it hilarious, so it just stuck around. Uh, that that was that's and that's how that song ended. Great stuff. A lot of a lot of f references in that one. That was fun. <clears throat> uh, Sonic, oh yeah, always a treasure trove of dumb shit and memes, which is wonderful. <laughs> Love it. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Too bad Sonic's getting good these days. I know. Too bad. It's it's a shame. Like good gameplay over funny jokes. I can't believe it. What the fuck. Yeah. Oh well. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna play. This is an interlude. This feels incredible. Track number eleven, and we're gonna go straight into track number twelve. Wheel of Misfortune. Uh, I'll preface this by saying, uh, uh, Game Grumps have have a long history of doing game show games on the show, uh, and this could be about something else. But if it's about actual Wheel of Fortune, which it might be. Um, Wheel of Dan, there's a running joke of Dan constantly. There was like one of the first Wheel of Fortune games they ever played. Dan got like five or six lose a turns in a row. So there's always a joke about Dan having horrible luck in Wheel of Fortune. So I don't know if that's what it'll actually be about. But it, if it is, then I wanted to preface that by saying that so that because there might be a reference to it. OK, it could be about something else entirely, though. Okay, uh, go on track number 11 into track 12, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. Go, Brian. <laughs> okay. Someone's getting blown right now. I know. Actually getting their cock sucked. They're getting the gluck gluck sucky wucky combo 3000. Get kick, kick, kick snare. I thought the kick snare thing was going to be the whole joke, but no. I like to believe that they they just made that out of random outtakes that they recorded throughout the, I, that's, the album. I would love to think that as well. Because otherwise, why else would it be there? Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yep. 
Hey! <laughs> That's always his first guess, too! He always guesses N first. <laughs> hey, wow. Wow. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. Wow. <laughs> 23 punches. Hey! No way! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Yay! Wow, I didn't actually... Ex I actually expected it to be about... Not about Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Glad you, you I pressed guessed it that. very accurately. The joke, yeah, <laughs> yep. And you know, I didn't expect them to run with it. Like it's just they kept guessing. Like the start, kept guessing. And is it mm, like that? I, that that was good. That was good. Yep. That was a good setup. Good joke. And yeah. uh, that one was more le less of the instrumental, more of the stupid silliness of the whole bit. Like, because I, I've, yes. I've been able to pay attention to both throughout the whole album thus far, but that was just the bit, and I was there for the bit. Yes. Yeah. If you, uh, if you wanna, if if you have thirty minutes to kill at some point, anybody out there, or even you, Trent, uh, they they did a reaction compilation to their dumbest guesses in Wheel of Fortune ever. It's like like we react to our dumbest Wheel of Fortune guesses. It's a it's very very funny. Uh, so you can see where where all of that's coming from. I will definitely um, do that. It's just like a, a a compilation of all of their dumbest things they've they've tried to guess in Wheel of Fortune. It is fantastic. Um, yeah, Wheel of Fortune is actually like <laughs> it's it's funny. Be, like one of the only series that they do semi consistently that's like almost always performs really well for them, and they love to do it. So it's like it's it has this like even you know really nice compromise for everyone where like the the game grumps love to do it and everybody their fans like to watch it so they, they they've made jokes about like oh we're just gonna be a wheel fortune channel like until we retire like is that just what's gonna be what happens and i'm sure like i i could i could see it happening um but it is it, it's always fun so highly recommend the, the wheel of fortune stuff from them uh that was a good that was a great song as well uh just exactly what i expected well sort of you know half expected i guess um but yeah good stuff uh next track number 13 is called falling diagonally i have no idea what this is about so we're gonna go into it blind uh, I, I don't have a single single inkling all right playing track number 13 in three two one go
He's Cooper. Cubert, fucking hell! No. I still have no idea. I know what Cubert is, but <laughs> Cubert is just this really old fucking game with a stupid. Ball guy uh, with a weird nostril, and he makes those. Okay, noises. I figured that was what it was. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Wow. Christ. Wow. Yeah, Br Brian has been on Game Grumps a number of times, and he's notorious for being good at these obscure old arcade games. So I'm assuming that was Brian's idea. Um, that is... That is... Wow. You know what? For some reason, that made me think of someone, like, doing a parody of, like... Uh, I don't know why it made me think of this, but doing a, like, someone doing a parody of, like, imagining what the purple guy would say in, like, an audio log in Five Nights at Freddy's. Right. Like, just yeah. doing, like, an audio log of him being fucking insane and weird. I completely get that vibe. <laughs> I, I do see that. Yeah. I, damn. I, I, I almost wish I knew more about Qbert. I just know he's a stupid little guy. And that's it. Like, it's, yeah. it, there's no point of reference for that. It was just a fucking intro, funny, like, pretty good song of just Brian popping off. Because why not? Oh yeah, he's been waiting for a chance like that. Surely, I, I, I definitely think you're um, right. Like Brian has <clears throat> had a lot more to like room to shine lately. Yes, and like, he's coming through. He's, he adds a lot to this. Like, yes I'm, I'm glad he's had he just i think that. they just let him compose the song and then like they they just add on to it with with their stupidity i swear he it just really feels like it. honestly yeah yeah i feel like they he made a lot of the instrumental stuff yeah like just completely made it you know and then they changed it up as they went along um that's what it feels like but brian was always kind of in charge of the of all the instruments basically of like composing the actual music so it makes sense, but it, it just feels like they let him play around a bit more. Um, like, I feel like Aaron didn't necessarily be like, here's the kind of song I want it to be, you know? Like, I think Brian, they just let Brian do whatever he wanted, and then Aaron just, like, sort of added on top of that. Because <clears throat> it really doesn't feel like Dan has, like, he's been there, but, it, like, creatively, it almost doesn't feel like he's contributed all that much. Which, I mean, hey, if it means we get more Starbomb, I will not be complaining. And Dan's in, like, a three million bands. So, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> uh, 
the final song is the simple plot of Silent Hill 2, which is, again, uh, I think fairly uh, relevant because I think it just got a remake, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know anything about Silent Hill or Silent Hill 2. Uh, yeah, I did look up a plot summary just in case, but I'm not going to read it because the whole point is it's going to explain the plot to us. So, yeah, like uh, the only the only shit I know about Silent Hill is that some people thought it was based <clears throat> like the town itself was based off of a real town. And then that was debunked and it was bullshit. And it's a horror game. Like That, that is my only point of reference for Silent Hill. <clears throat> so this will actually yes. be helpful in a way. Yeah, same. we're going to we're going to be informed about Silent Hill today. Good. I'd like to. Uh, know. All know. right. <clears throat> all right. Playing the final song in three, two, one. Go. Wow. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Love the clapping. That's what we do around here. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Yay! Woo! Yeah! He's rich! So much. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Wow, wow impressive. Pyramid comes from Silent Hill, of course. Damn. Damn. Oh. Oh. Yay! He's rich! Aw. Oh. oh man. But he's rich now, so it's okay. Exactly. He's rich now, so it doesn't matter. Look at him go. Amen. Games with simple plots. I'm so happy it's back. It was fun. Now oh, yeah. um Staple. Very interestingly, no outro. That's uh I'm okay with it. Yeah, you know. That's I don't know if that means I I wanna believe they forgot it. <laughs> I love it. Just I like, imagine they whoops. forgot it, and then like in a week's time, they're like, "Oh, guys, fuck! Sorry, we're hold on. We're gonna update the album. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. add an outro. The album's already out. Fuck! I wanna, yeah, I wanna believe Aaron and Dan just forgot it, and Brian, Brian, because Brian would be like, hey, "We don't have an outro. <laughs> They'll never find out." <laughs> it's probably um, like only for vinyl or CD players. Imagine that they get an exclusive <laughs> outro, and it's just yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you guys. You bought the thing, the physical thing, and now you get to hear us yeah. talk about the thing. How did you think of the thing? Yes. Stuff like that. 
yeah, that's how it always is. Okay. Um, yeah. So nope. That yeah, I just read through the plot summary of Silent. That is exactly what happened. All right. Yeah, cool. no, that that makes so much sense. Um, I I knew about some <clears throat> of that information, and I think. I can't believe I forgot Pyramid Head is from Silent Hill. That fucking... Th I was like, he's literally the guy. He is the... the he is the Silent Hill guy. He, I can't believe I fucking forgot that. But, um... Yeah. That whole album... Uh... Again. It's Star Bomb. It, a grand it, old time. It, it's a grand old time. It's more of the same and more hilariousness <clears throat> all squished together. And I've learned... I've learned some things today. And I'm happy about that. Very fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I was happy with all of the, the Game Grumps references they made. More than usual, it, feel, it felt like, for sure. Because usually... Uh, and they weren't necessary, of course, to, the, to, the, to understanding the song. They were just there for people who get them. But I'm happy about that because I am very familiar with their work on YouTube. So it's, it's nice to be... To, like, sort of hear hear that come through in star bomb as well and it's hard not to associate it uh hard, associate star bomb with game Grumps since both aaron and dan are uh you know primary members of the band so but it, it is just yeah it's just a grand grand old time fresh new ideas like i i like the ideas that and the concepts of the songs they came up with um i i i was hoping for a little bit more from the Zelda song, but it was a good song. I was just hoping for a little bit different concept personally, like for because I think Breath of the Wild has more. There's more room for <laughs> for crazy shit that they could have done, I think. Um, but it definitely wasn't a bad song because I like Breath of the Wild is such an insane, insane game. It's it's not a Tears of the Kingdom insane, but it is. It's just huge. There's so many things. Um, but other than that, like just. A fantastic album from like there weren't any bad songs like even there weren't any even mid songs really they were just like all good um it's again we've said this with nsp but it's hard to like judge each one compared to each other and like because if they're well composed well structured and funny then they've done their job as a star bomb song as a comedy song so it's hard to be like, oh, well, these are my, you know, like, these are the best ones of like these three songs, the best ones of the album. And I don't really think that is a thing because it's completely up to personal taste. So because there wasn't like I said, there wasn't a badly p composed song on this. They, they've all they all hit exactly what they were trying to go for. Like, I don't think I don't think they missed with any of the jokes they tried to land. I think they all landed just fine. And yeah, no, it was just really strong throughout. Like I, I'm, I'm very happy with this. And depend, I, I think I might. I'm not gonna buy the vinyl, but I think I might buy a CD. Uh, so I did because I, I really liked it. So glad to have them back, and I really, I, I want them to make another one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy the fucking CD. Starbomb.com. How do I get there? there That's the thing. Starbomb um, has like, despite being <clears throat> made of Ninja Sex Party, and like. Despite being like comprising of them, Star Bomb does have its own entire vibe that I just fuck with. Because like Nin Ninja Sex Party, like that they they do their thing, they do it well, and I just love the fucking video video game Mickey they take out of it with Star Bomb. I, I think it's a lot a lot of fun, and like you can only benefit from more of it because like. As long as they've yes. got the ideas there for it, it cannot go downhill because they've got the formula down packed. They just need to yes. have ideas that they're creatively happy with. I think that's probably why. Yeah, this one took the longest time to come out because they. Yes, didn't... and I yeah, I totally get it. You because sometimes those ideas don't come every day. They really don't. Mm -hmm. Um, so I can totally imagine them sitting on it until they have enough ideas to to be happy with it. Um. But yeah, it just it just really works, like especially with the creative formula where it, it felt like Dan wasn't as involved this time around. It, it feels like with Aaron and Brian sort of leading that they they made something really fun still um, like really Dan's only leading part was in Pokemon Smasher Pass. That was it. And that was only because Aaron was the one executing the smash bit. Like he was probably like, I have to. I, I'm I'm doing the one about the smash. I'm gonna be the one that smashes all the Pokemon. 
because that was the bit in their actual videos where he was like, I don't know, I'd fuck it. Um, so that totally makes sense. Um, so it, it just it felt like Aaron and Brian sort of led the create the creative on this one. And it just really works because they are the ones who know more about video games, I assume. Uh, so it was, yeah, really, really good. Just a good time. Great to listen to really well produced and, and composed great stuff i'm happy with uh, how it turned out oh my god the signed cd is 40 dollars and the unsigned is 13 well i know which one i'm getting um a uh, duh okay <laughs> no, yeah. yeah signed absolutely um uh, i'm about to buy a, i'm about to buy a fucking house i'm not spending 40 dollars on a cd absolutely um, valid. absolutely valid yep uh, awesome okay stuff Fucking happy with that. Good shit. Yeah, guys. great stuff. Can't wait for more if more is good shitting. Line. I thought you good said shit. good shitting. I was like, <laughs> good shitting. Good shitting. Thanks I for shat, taking a poop. I shat during in the middle of that. It was very epic, and uh, enjoyed the, the music while I was shitting. Enjoy this music while you shit or while you vibe in the car. Either or. Yep. Have a and smash one. every Pokemon or you're a pussy. Oh, yeah. Fucking obviously, loser. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, only Pokemon, not, not humans. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to be back next week. Don't, don't touch that dial because next week we're going to hit you with another album review. Uh, it's Skillet. Skillet's coming out with a new, that's right? Skillet? Yes, Skillet. Skillet. Okay. So Skillet, what's it called? Uh, Revolution, I believe. I okay, know. Revolution. So we're doing Skillet's new album next week. Um, so we are we've got two back-to-back -back album reviews and we've got plenty more uh in the pipeline for whenever they come out um it's mostly trent dragging me along on whatever random shit he wants to listen to which is fine i'm okay with that that's what oh, i yeah. signed up for um so yeah we, we're gonna uh we just, whenever stuff comes out we'll be reviewing it that we want to listen to um so the uh what was i gonna say i already forgot oh oh right so we're doing skill next week but yeah so we really enjoyed this one thank you star bomb um hope you make another one and uh and if not i'll just watch game grumps every day like i normally do so um yeah that's it for this video and if oh, wait, uh, make wait, wait, sure before, to before we go before we go before we go before we go uh did any were any of those in particular a favorite of yours? Which one would you prefer? Like, is it would you say is your favorite Ooh. out of all those songs? Which one was my favorite? Uh, Joy-Con Drift is up there. I really like um, what's the one? Sonic's Last Ring was up there. Uh, I really like the um. I think I think those two are probably my favorite. Yeah, Krobus is one? hot, and Joy-Con Drift and Sonic's Last Ring was a very good, solid, like, tri like yeah. triple whammy. That was solid all the mm -hmm. way through. And, um, yes. Ki Kiss the Elder Ring. And Pokemon, Pokemon Smasher Pass. Those I think those are my top three. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Smasher Pass, obviously. Um, yeah. Ki Kiss the Elder Ring three. and Nintendo Online's greatest announcement. Like, they had their moments, but yeah, Pokemon Smasher Pass, and um, I think Joy-Con Drift as well definitely at the, the top for me yeah fuck yeah okay yep so we'll be back next week uh make sure to absolutely fucking obliterate that like button with your hard erect penis uh and subscribe for more uh album reviews and games coming up we're gonna be doing at some point when i ever i buy the game and whenever trent's not somewhere else we're gonna be doing sonic x shadow generations so stay tuned for that. Uh, that's coming up at some point whenever our the Nuzlocke finishes and when Persona is finished uploading. Um, so it'll be a couple weeks from now, but it'll happen. Uh, so stay tuned and hit that subscribe button and uh, let us know if there are any, I don't know, if you want us to review an album. We might do it, might not do it. Who knows? We've been given suggestions um, before and we promptly ignored yeah. them. But All right. That well they're, then they're, give us suggestions anyway well, well that's because those suggestions were of old albums and we we're like eh, we prefer the new stuff oh but it's fine yeah upcoming albums they have to be new 
Um, yes. And anyway. yeah, ov- obviously your dick should be erect after listening to Star Bomb. So just fucking like put your phone oh, yes. down and uh, look at the subscribe button and just fucking whack. Just fuck. Bam, yeah. Run on like that. slam your meat on the table type shit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, um, yeah. And so uh, suggest album reviews. Maybe we're already doing it. Maybe we're not. Who knows? Um, probably not. We probably won't do it, but it's okay. Leave us suggestions anyway. It'll get us that engagement and get us in just that much closer to never getting monetization. Um, to 200 so, subscribers. Yeah. To yeah. Never getting, well, inch by inch. It's all about the baby steps. Um, inch by so, inch. What I'm lacking severely. We're making it. Amen. I'll, I'll drink to that. Um, I have a small penis. Anyway, uh... Next, I can't hit the subscribe uh, button with my penis because it's so small. Yeah, I have a micro <laughs> Yikes. Whispered memory of a penis. Uh, yeah, so come back next week. I don't know, send us an email if you want. I don't know why you do that, but you can. Uh, I'm not going to... It's just, I don't know, do whatever you want, man. Like, I'm not your dad. Although I might be if I see your mom. Ooh, anyway. Nah, see you next week. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck your mom. <laughs>